Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is iLife09, or at least a part of iLife09. This is iMovie. 09, and it's uh, kind of important that we show it off right now because uh, as of this date, it's not officially available. But Danny Minnick, and Danny, that's how you say your last name, right? Yep. Hey, all right, I nailed it. Usually I only see your email, so I don't exactly know. I never say it aloud until I actually you know, talk about your name. Uh, Danny got a hold of a copy early uh, due to some uh, fluke in Best Buy's policy, he just walked into a Best Buy and proved that uh, Best Buy had it listed on their website today, so someone walked in the back, picked up a, a copy of iLife, and handed it to him. So I'll be picking my copy up tomorrow. Uh, and this is, of course, iMovie uh, 09. There's, of course, uh, iPhoto. Uh, it's iDVD. And then, of course, GarageBand. I think it's the only... Oh, that's so cool! I'm sorry, I'm looking at... I don't know if you noticed up here, and I can highlight the cursor over it, uh, in this area, you can apply a theme dynamically to any video that you're editing. So he's kind of got this comic book style, the unboxing of a ticks clock. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> it didn't take you anything to edit that either. You just, you know, opened up the, the, uh, the template. Right. I'm noticing a couple of small changes. I don't know if I'm going to become an iMovie fan. I mean, I, I really like the... Uh, the classic version of iMovie better. Although there's one feature that I am looking forward to in iMovie 09, and that is uh, specifically uh, the video stabilization, which is something that they borrowed from Shake. They probably lifted the technology directly out of it. Yep, Analyze for Stabilization was right there. In a, in a, and that's important, too, when you take a some kind of short clip or even a longer clip and you want it to be stabilized, uh, you could run something like that. Automatic transitions, interesting. Yeah, so in in your uh, in it, you've only been playing with it for a little while. Uh, ha, in your experience thus far, have you noticed any speed improvements in the iLife suite? Uh, no, no speed. No speed Just, improvements. Uh, functionality. But functionality. Right. Do you feel you got seventy nine dollars worth of functionality out of this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No argument. Boy, no I love argument. it. He's uh, just he he's got these these comic book transition samples down here in the actually let me zoom in just a bit. Uh down here in the lower corner, he's simply dragging and dropping them up onto his clip. And by doing that, he's essentially creating the the, the video. And it's it's automatically creating these uh these transition points uh you know throughout the video experience. Uh, I'll try it again, but man, I just, I'm big into shooting live to tape. Like, I do live stuff, it's just live to tape for me. Alright, well, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, now, what about iPhoto? Have you have you really dived into the integration between Flickr and Facebook in iPhoto? I just did, about an hour ago. Oh. I uploaded uh, straight from iPhoto to Flickr. And how was it? Quick. Now, that, that is quick. All right, go ahead. Uh, fire up iPhoto. Okay. I was looking for the icon in your uh, dock. Boy, you've got... He's got a huge dock. Look at that. His dock goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> I have like four things in my dock. It's boring. Oh, there... I saw it down here. I saw it, uh, the Facebook... I think everybody else did too. The Flickr and Facebook icons were down there. All right, so... Oh, so this is a in the sidebars uh, Flickr, uh, and so this is an album that you uploaded to Flickr or that you downloaded f from Flickr. I uploaded to Flickr. Okay. Yeah, and these are pictures of uh, California last summer. Now, have you geotagged them? Like, if you no. click it, like if or right click it, how do you geotag info? I think it's. Under the, if you yeah. hover, yeah, is it, is it under the info? That would just be my yeah, thought. Oh, yeah. Enter photo location right there. That's great. That would be. So, Pismo, oh, that's great. He types in Pismo Beach and it auto-completes. And then that it works. maps it out. Man, that's great. So now the metadata has been stamped directly into the photo, which can be then transferred back to uh, 
flicker. Or, yeah, it's automatically doing it, too. Look, yeah. it changed it, and the icon down here, now I realize the uh, the brightness and contrast on my monitor aren't really showing it very well. That's why I've kind of got everything dimmed and, and trying to highlight the cursor. Uh, but it was showing that it was refreshing and uploading the changes directly to Flickr, so you can keep it completely in sync. Wow. There's going to be a lot of geotagging going on. Okay, now what about uh, Facebook? Have you tied this into your uh, Facebook yet? No, that's perfect. This is perfect chance to do that. <laughs> yeah, give it a shot. Okay, let's see. Let's just go with my display. So he's Where's going to uh, this photo. He's going to enter a photo here. So he's entered the... Uh... That's fine. Nice transitions. Do you want to set up oh. iPhoto to publish to Facebook? So he's going to press yes. set up. It launches uh, the well a, a window where he logs in to his Facebook account. This is of course Facebook security. You've probably seen this before. Allow, right there. Nice. You may now close yeah, this window, window and return to the application. Okay, so now Facebook's set up. So go ahead. Do you want to publish this photo to Facebook? Photos viewable by, and then you can choose who can view it. Publish. And now it's going up to Facebook. No way, dude. <laughs> dude, yeah, that is so hot. Now, my question yeah, is, I'll click this to view. yeah, and then that will view, uh, it'll open up your web browser and then view Facebook after you log in. Um, I wonder if you can publish to Facebook and Flickr simultaneously. Let's try. I don't know, dude. That That'd be kind of... Because I know it's got Facebook and Flickr, but it, wouldn't it make sense to, like, when you select a photo? Yeah, go ahead, select a photo. Like, the do the January. Yeah, because it's got, but the buttons are highlighted. Down in the bottom, you got Mobile mm. Me, Facebook, Flickr, and email. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. Interesting. And then, uh, of course, you've got, um, you know, the, the face recognition. Have you tried that, too, in iPhoto yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, boy, this is great. The no, you know what? The last thing that's missing is is uh, well, Google. Well, of course they've got Picasa. I know not a lot of people use uh, Flickr. Some people use Photo Bucket. Oh, there's the the started with faces thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Now, face here. Um, Apple highlighted pretty much. Uh, this app, iMovie, and GarageBand in their keynote. Have you, uh, uh, in the, D, the iDVD is the, the other app, I believe, that comes with iLife. Have you, uh, have you launched into that and seen any changes in, the, in there? Because it didn't, there, there didn't seem to be anything notable. I have not. I don't have a super drive. Oh, you don't have a super drive. So I don't even bother with iDVD. All right. Oh, this is very nice. Well, what? Okay, so let's let's take a look at GarageBand. Cool. All right. Let's see how he launches it. He actually uses his dock to launch apps. How quaint. <laughs> I don't. I use either Spotlight or Quicksilver. You know, just quicker instead of I'm hunting. I'm in love with the dock. I don't know. I just never. I mean, I'm I'm a I, I I'm not a Doc hater or lover? Boy, it, it is too bad they just haven't uh, worked on the speed too much. I've got an old copy of uh, I'll have. Well, I will have an old copy of iLife and iWork that I could sell. I don't know if anybody's gonna buy it, but oh, okay. So there's a new wizard on startup asking you what instrument or, or type of thing you want to create: loops, voice, electric guitar, piano, keyboard. Acoustic, songwriting, or podcast. Oh, iPhone ringtone. Go go to iPhone ringtone. Hey. There's an iPhone ringtone option. Uh, let's click example. My song create. So he's, he's ba you can create your own song or your own uh, ringtone in uh, GarageBand now. Apparently. I don't know if you guys will be able to Oh, this is so much cleaner. Wow. Yeah, they, they, they did, uh, they cleaned it up a bit. 
looks better. Well, it's closer to uh, iMovie. It, Garage Band, that is. Can you hear any of that? No. But it looks like they've got some built-in jingles, stingers, sound effects, favorites, all effects. And then the oh, wizard. Wow. So it's like a media browser over here, over in the, the lower. Everything's cleaner. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like, cleaner. They, they no longer show you what you don't have. Oh, uh, yes. As in terms of trackbacks. So then when you go to file export or file save as then, I'd assume it's going to save as a, what is it, an M4R extension for a ringtone? Send ringtone to iTunes right there. Nice! Oh, down, yay! Converse. That's awesome. This is quick. That's awesome. Have you seen, um, well, I may feature it in, in another video. There's actually an application that will help you create iPhone ringtones too. It's free. Well, it's only for Mac OS X, go figure. All right, well, I think it's a, it's a pretty good uh, walkthrough. It's, it's uh, tantalizing. Uh, if everybody out there is also wanting to pick up a, a copy of uh, iLife 09 when it's out, of course, if you buy a new Mac, it will come with iLife 09. And some people say, oh, I get that stuff when I buy my PC. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not even close. No. Not, would you agree with me, Danny? Not even close? Not even close. Anybody... Oh. Uh, he uses, I mean, think about that. Your photo editing app, iPhoto, if you're using iPhoto as the photo editing app or tweaking app or whatever, managing app, can now geotag photos with ease, push them up and changes up to Facebook and or Flickr. I mean, yeah, mobile me and email, blah, 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 blah. But Facebook and Flickr. Huge! That's awesome. Well, Danny, thanks again uh, for showing off what you got here. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. And uh, we'll see about getting a quick turnaround in this video, considering that tomorrow everybody will go out and buy iLife09 and upload their thoughts. Uh, we're doing a GoToMeeting session every week, and if you've got an idea about uh, something you'd like to show off, and go ahead, Danny, play with your computer in the background. I'm just going to you know, finish this video okay. here. Uh, that you Just drop me a line. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, we'd love to see you demonstrate something on your desktop, uh, whether you're running Windows or Mac OS X, using GoToMeeting. Uh, of course, you can download a, a trial if you want, and we've got a special promo if you go to gotomeeting.com slash chrisperillo, or just stop into the chat room and ask about it. We'll give you a link, and you'll be good to go. Uh, of course, you're also welcome to stop by our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Uh, there's tons of things happening there including people talking about their favorite software that they just got or they want to get or asking questions. And speaking of asking questions, a lot of that's happening in the chat room, like all the time. Right now, there's someone either asking or answering a question likely related to tech. And uh, that's what we're talking about for the most part, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.prolo.com. We'll see you later.